Welcome back to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. Now, of course, we're talking about all the great activities that teens and other youth can do during the holiday season, and we got a special treat for you. Joining us today is Clay Lee. He's from the Fort Boise Community Center to tell us about some of the really cool activities. And these are really cool activities going on at the Fort, Fort Boise Community Center. Clay, thanks for joining us. Not at all. Uh, I got to start me off. Extreme Gamer Night, I'm interested in this one. Extreme Game Night's a lot of fun. It's uh, the third Saturday of each month. Uh -huh. uh, we invite teens, uh, junior high, high school age teens to come to Fort Boyce Community Center from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh -huh. We have video games, uh, Xbox, Wii, and computers. Okay. So we turn the lights off in our gymnasium, close off a section, and plug the games into a projector. So these are projected onto screens that are 20, 30 foot tall video games. Nice. Open gaming, tournaments. It's a lot of fun. This is awesome. And what's the cost on that for people to show? It's two dollars at okay. the door to come in. We'll have pizza on hand and soda on hand. You can't beat that. Nope. Two bucks for a great night of entertainment. And then, um, is there an age cutoff? You know, can I come and show up at this? <laughs> you can show up and volunteer anytime okay. you want. Good to know. Um, Seventeens are cutoff. Okay. Twelve to seventeen year olds. Uh, they need to be enrolled in a school program. They need to be in an educational system. All right. To be able to active participate in our program. Now the Extreme Game Night is only one of the teen activities that you have available and that's the third Saturday. What other teen activities do you have? Uh, every Friday night with the exception of the 24th and the 31st of this month we have uh, Friday Teen Nights which is Fort Boise Community Center at 7 o'clock. We kick the adults out and uh, the kids have the run of the place. They've got the gym, mm -hmm. weight room, we give them a dance room, uh, our Teen Activity Center which is a 1200 square foot room with ping pong, pool, air hockey, foosball. Wow. Uh, we have video games in there, a couple large screen TVs, and a six computer lab. No internet, but they're hooked together on landline for cooperative gaming uh -huh. for the kids. Um, it's all supervised. Uh, it's within our walls. It's in the building. It's not outside of the building. So the kids are inside from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Um, all of our staff are also mentors and role models for the kids. That's so it's supervised. We've been known to throw a few dodgeball games. <laughs> a lot of fun. Well, I think I might have to definitely show up on this as far as the volunteer side. Um, now, you also have other activities available for um, other, you know, other ages than teens, correct? Correct, yeah, especially over the holiday break. Mm -hmm. uh, when the kids aren't in school, it's kind of the parks and rec. It's, for, it's our job to make sure the kids have something to do. So kids of all ages, we've got uh, holiday camps, right? Um, indoor rock climbing camps, bouldering camp. Um, Got a, a really cool recreation camp called Reckham. Awesome. That uh, the kids, a couple of activities each day. And, this, skating. and this is all available on your website, which is? Uh, Cityofboise.org slash parks. Awesome. Or we'll put the phone number up for you. And uh, you've also got a, a book that's available yeah. at the Fort Boise Community Center as well. Correct. It's our activity guide. It's got all of our activities, not just over the holiday, but all the way until spring. Perfect. Clay, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. We appreciate having you on board here.